The Pauline Epistles, Epistles of Paul, or Letters of Paul, are the thirteen books of the New Testament, composed of letters which are largely attributed to Paul the Apostle, although authorship of some is in dispute. Among these letters are some of the earliest extant Christian documents. They provide an insight into the beliefs and controversies of early Christianity and as part of the canon of the New Testament they are foundational texts for both Christian theology and ethics. The Epistle to the Hebrews, although it does not bear his name, was traditionally considered Pauline for a thousand years, but from the 16th century onwards opinion steadily moved against Pauline authorship and few scholars now ascribe it to Paul, mostly because it does not read like any of his other epistles in style and content. Most scholars agree that Paul really wrote seven of the Pauline epistles, but that four of the epistles in Paul's name are pseudepigraphic Ephesians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, and Titus. Scholars are divided on the authenticity of two of the epistles. The Pauline epistles are usually placed between the Acts of the Apostles and the general epistles in modern editions. Most Greek manuscripts, however, place the general epistles first, and a few minuscules 175, 325, 336, and 1424, place the Pauline epistles at the end of the New Testament. Topic. Order Topic. In the order they appear in the New Testament, the Pauline epistles are this ordering is remarkably consistent in the manuscript tradition, with very few deviations. The evident principle of organization is descending length of the Greek text, but keeping the four pastoral epistles addressed to individuals in a separate final section. The only anomaly is that Galatians precedes the slightly longer Ephesians. In modern editions, the formally anonymous epistle to the Hebrews is placed at the end of Paul's letters and before the general epistles. This practice was popularized through the 4th century Vulgate by Jerome, who was aware of ancient doubts about its authorship, and is also followed in most medieval Byzantine manuscripts. With hardly any exceptions, though, the manuscripts do include Hebrews somewhere among Paul. S. Letters, the placement of Hebrews among the Pauline epistles is less consistent in the manuscripts. Between Romans and 1 Corinthians, i.e., in order by length without splitting the epistles to the Corinthians, Papyrus 46 and Minuscules 103, 455, 1961, 1964, 1977, 1994. Between 2 Corinthians and Galatians, Minuscules 1930, 1978, and 2248. Between Galatians and Ephesians, implied by the numbering in B. However, in B, Galatians ends and Ephesians begins on the same side of the same folio, page 1493. Similarly, 2 Thessalonians ends and Hebrews begins on the same side of the same folio, page 1512. Between 2 Thessalonians and 1 Timothy, i.e., before the pastorals, A, B, C, H, I, P, O, 150, O, 151, and about 60 minuscules, e.g. 218, 632. After Philemon, D, O, 48, E, K, L, and the majority of minuscules. Omitted, F and G. Topic: Authenticity. Topic. In all of these epistles except the Epistle to the Hebrews, the author and writer does claim to be Paul. However, the contested letters may have been written using Paul's name, as it was common to attribute at that point in history. Seven letters with consensus dates considered genuine by most scholars. 1 Thessalonians c. 50 AD Galatians c. 53 1 Corinthians c. 53-54 Philippians c. 55 Philemon C 55 2 Corinthians C 55 to 56 Romans C 57 The letters on which scholars are about evenly divided Colossians 2 Thessalonians the letters thought to be pseudepigraphic by about 80% of scholars Ephesians 1 Timothy 2 Timothy Titus finally, Epistle to the Hebrews, though anonymous and not really in the form of a letter, has long been included among Paul's collected letters, but most scholars now regard it as not written by Paul. Topic. Lost Pauline epistles Topic. Paul's own writings are often thought to indicate several of his letters that have not been preserved. 
a first epistle to Corinth, referenced at 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 9. A third epistle to Corinth, also called the Severe Letter, referenced at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 and 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 8 to 9. An earlier epistle to the Ephesians referenced at Ephesians chapter 3 verses 3 to 4. The epistle to the Laodiceans, referenced at Colossians chapter 4 verse 16. Topic. See also. Topic. New Testament athletic metaphors New Testament military metaphors Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliographic resources Topic. Alan Kurt the Problem of Anonymity and Pseudonymity in Christian Literature of the First Two Centuries, Journal of Theological Studies 12 39–49. Barr, Gordon J. Paul and Letter Writing in the First Century, Catholic Biblical Quarterly 28 465–77, Item, The Subscriptions in the Pauline Letters, Journal of Biblical Literature 2 27–41. Bachham, Richard J. Pseudo Apostolic Letters. Journal of Biblical Literature 107, 1988, 469-94. Carson, D. A. Pseudonymity and Pseudpigraphy, Dictionary of New Testament Background. E. D.'s, Craig A. Evans and Stanley E. Porter. Downers Grove, Intervarsity, 2000. 857-64. Kusar, Charles B. The Letters of Paul. Interpreting Biblical Texts. Nashville, Abingdon, 1996. Deisman, G. Adolph. Bible Studies. Trans. Alexander Grieve, 1901. Peabody, Hendrickson, 1988. Doty, William G. Letters in Primitive Christianity. Guides to Biblical Scholarship. New Testament. Ed. Dan O. Villa, Jr. Philadelphia, Fortress, 1988. Gamble, Harry Y. Amanuensis, Anchor Bible Dictionary. Volume 1. Ed. David Noel Friedman. New York, Doubleday, 1992. Haynes Eitzen, Kim. Girls Trained in Beautiful Writing, Female Scribes in Roman Antiquity and Early Christianity, Journal of Early Christian Studies 6.4 1998, 629-46. Kim, Young Sook. A Theological Introduction to Paul's Letters. Eugene, Oregon, Cascade Books, 2011. Longnecker, Richard N. Ancient Amanuenses and the Pauline Epistles, New Dimensions in New Testament Study. E. D.'s, Richard N. Longnecker and Merrill C. Tenney. Grand Rapids, Zondervan, 1974. 281-97. Item, On the Form, Function, and Authority of the New Testament Letters, Scripture and Truth. E. D.'s, D. A. Carson and John D. Woodbridge. Grand Rapids, Zondervan, 1983. 101-14. Murphy O'Connor, Jerome. Paul the Letter Writer, His World, His Options, His Skills. Collegeville, M.N., Liturgical, 1995. Richards, E. Randolph. The Secretary in the Letters of Paul. Tübingen, Moore, 1991. Item, The Codex and the Early Collection of Paul's Letters, Bulletin for Bulletin Research 8, 1998, 151-66, Item, Paul and First Century Letter Writing, Secretaries, Composition, and Collection. Downers Grove, Intervarsity, 2004. Robson, E. Illiff. Composition and Dictation in New Testament Books, Journal of Theological Studies 18, 1917, 288-301. Stowers, Stanley K. Letter Writing in Greco-Roman Antiquity. Library of Early Christianity. Volume 8. Ed. Wayne A. Meeks. Philadelphia, Westminster, 1989. Wall, Robert W. Introduction to Epistolary Literature, New Interpreter's Bible. Volume 10. Ed. Leander E. Keck. Nashville, Abingdon, 2002. 369-91. <laughs> external links The Marcionite Prologues to the Pauline Epistles Chronological Order of Paul's Letters Chronology of Paul's Letters